Hello, this is Robin. How are you all doing today? I hope you are having a good Monday morning. It is about 25 to 11. And I hope you can hear me. My husband works third shift, so I try not to talk too loud and end up waking him up. Um, this is a video called Keeping It Real. Just a little bit of a chit chat and venting maybe. <laughs> Um, welcome to all of my subscribers, whether you've been with me from the beginning or whether you're new. I appreciate every single one of you. And have you noticed, hands-free, I got my tripod for my phone and I am loving it. It is so nice not to have to hold the telephone or the camera on my phone or to prop the camera up against something. So anyway, um, get started, I guess. I don't even know where to start. I just promised a video and I wanted to get on here and just touch different uh, subjects. Everything I'm about to say is my opinion. It's things that maybe I've experienced. I'm not pushing anything on anybody. I am nowhere by any means a psychologist or a psychiatrist. This is just some things that I've been through and uh, a family member of mine is going through right now. And one of the hardest things in life is to have somebody that you love going through something that you really can't change and you really can't help them through it. You can be there for them and let them know that you're there for them but sometimes they have to just take it on their own and learn from it. Um, I have been uh, married a couple times um, and divorced and I'm married to my husband, Rudy. We have been together for four years. We are still having trial and error. Um, a lot of you don't know, I don't think I've ever said, uh, he was, is a full blown Biker. I mean, he's got the tattoos up and down his arms, on his back, on his leg. Um, he rides a Harley. Um, I never dated anybody like Rudy. He was something 100% different than what I was used to dating. Um, I even ask myself sometimes, what, what did I get myself into? He is very um, stubborn, very hard person. Uh, I love him and he loves me, but we have our battles just like everybody else does. And my problem is I am very bullheaded and stubborn and as he is too. So um, we butt heads, but um, I have always wanted a tattoo and my mom has always raised me not to, you know, adventure into those kind of things. So when I met Rudy four years ago, um, we started going to a bike rally. It's called Little Sturgis. A lot of people think of bike rallies as fighting and drinking and partying and I don't know if you haven't actually attended one you really don't know what to expect as I did not know what to expect I was scared to death the first time um, there is drinking you know people do party uh, they're loud and obnoxious just like you know a lot of people are at parties once you get a couple of belts under your belt I don't drink um, except for iced tea or flavored water um, my husband will have a beer once in a while um, but we met some of the nicest people that you would ever want to meet and I met a lady there that does not drink anything but I see also and we hit it off and the last three years well the last two years that we've went the first year that's when I met her the other two years we went was mainly to hook up with the couple that we met three years previous. Um, 
it's someone to hang out with. They always have uh, really good bands. Um, the food is awesome, awesome. And just to see all of them motorcycles lined up row after row after row, it is really, really amazing. Um, but I'm not a biker chick. I never was. Um, I do wear a lot of the Harley Davidson clothing. Um, but it's just me, you know, I'm not no different from anybody else. Um, you know, we work, we live, we pay bills, we buy groceries. We just, you know, we're out of Harley. Um, just in the summertime. And I'm telling you to experience that open road and that wind. It is just amazing. Um, I am on the safety side. I do wear a helmet. Unlike my husband, he will not wear a helmet. And I have preached and preached and preached at him. But anyway, oh my goodness, I'm already in six minutes and I haven't really said anything. <clears throat> a subject I want to touch on is um, the family member that's going through uh, some problems. One thing, if both husband and wife are not into making the marriage work, there is nothing other than God that's going to solve it. It takes two to make a marriage work. You cannot do it with one. No matter how bad the one wants it to work, and no matter what they say, or no matter what they do, or no matter what they try, if the other one is not into it, it's they're just going to drain themselves. They're going to end up hating each other. So if it's done and it's over, the only thing you can do is to move on. And I know that is the hardest, hardest thing to do. Believe me, I've been there. I've done that a couple times. And it is sad. You spend all those years with one person. And then it's like, where did it go? What happened? It's like the day they decide they don't want you no more. It's like all those years you've been together. It's like where did they go? Who's that person that I met and that I married and that I was married to for all them years? Um, it, it, it's, it's hard to understand. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, the best thing you could do is try to end friends, but you need to just let it go. Again, if there is a possibility that you feel that there is a way to connect to stay connected, to stay married, then do it by all means. Go to counseling, go to the pastor, whatever you need to do, but you both have to want that. If you both do not want that marriage, it's not going to work no matter how bad you want it to work. Um, it, you know, it, it, it's, I just wanted to touch base with that. Um, and maybe, you know, uh, Yuns could pray for, I really don't want to say who it is, but um, it's a close family member that's going through this. And um, I just, it just kills me because there's nothing I can do. I just let them know that I'm here if they need me. Um, they can vent, they could cry, they can whatever, you know, if they just want me to come hang out with them. They already know that's that's a hundred percent guaranteed. Um, I just want to do uh, say another thing. I I think I mentioned my children. Uh, April was my youngest, and she's married. Um, they've got three kids: Justin, Brianna, and Faith, and my step granddaughter Kaylee. Um, I don't even include her as a step. She's my granddaughter. My middle son, Scott, is married, and they have three children. Destiny is the oldest, then Scotty, and then Jonathan. And then my son, Larry, is the oldest, and he's married. And they have, uh, he has a daughter and a son, uh, Tamara, and she's the oldest grandchild. She's the one that's 19. And um, little Larry, they call him LJ. And uh, he's the baby. He's two and a half. And he is just something else. 
but I just figured that, uh, you know, I'd call this video keeping it real, you know, just a little bit more, a few tidbits about me and my family. Um, Liz wanted me to join the planner collaboration and Liz, I would love to do that more than anything, but the only reason why I'm kind of backing out and not wanting to join that right now is because March the 25th, I am going in for the surgery on my left arm and it's going to be kind of hard to, uh, you know, decorate the planner and everything while I am, uh, only have one arm to use. So, um, that's the main reason why I'm kind of backing out of that. But after I'm, you know, after the surgery's over and the healing process is over, which takes up to a year. So not saying that I wouldn't be able to start using my hand before the year's up, but um, at a later date, if you still have the planner uh, collaboration, I would love to join that. Um, I just, again, I promised a video and I keep racking my brain on what to tape. So I thought, well, you didn't seem to like a little bit of me getting on here and just running off with the mouth and I'm really good at that. Uh, the only other thing I can touch on is um, I had said about my anxiety and panic attacks and depression. Um, I am on medication. I am also on medication for my insomnia. Um, this morning has been, if the rest of my day is going to be like my morning was, I'm going back to bed because it's just been crazy. So anyway, um, if anybody has any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. And I know I did touch about touch base about the tattoos. I do have ta two tattoos. I have one of a hummingbird um, with its beak in like a flower. And then I have my children's, uh, Larry Scott Naples name. And I did not get my first tattoo until I was 52 and I'm 55. And to this day, my mom still does not know if I want to remain living, <laughs> I won't tell her that I have them. And it was my choice. And I know it's something that is with you permanently. That's why I thought long and hard about getting them. And that's why I got the two that I did. I wanted my kids' names. And the other tattoo is a remembrance, even though she's still living, of my mom. My mom has always loved hummingbirds. She has everything, hummingbirds, statues, wind chimes, the, the, the ones that light up outside. Um, I feel the reason why I wanted the tattoo of, my, of the hummingbird. My mom has always, always been there for me, even when there was times that I know she did not want to be. And I always felt that she was hovering above me and just allowing me to live my life. And when I ran into a problem or felt like I was up against a brick wall, she would just hover below and just tell me, I'm here. I'm not going to push you, but you know that I'm here if you need me. So I, that's why I got the hummingbird uh, tattoo, just a remembrance of my mom. And, um, a lot of people don't agree with that, the tattoo bit, and that's fine. That that's your that's your right, but it's my right, it's my body to do whatever I want to do with it. Um, I'm not hurting nobody, I'm not harming nobody else. Well, anyway, this is going to be a long chat. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you do, please click the like button. Please subscribe. Um, I have 26 subscribers, and I would love to see more if you are interested in these kind of videos let me know in the comment box below i have a whole bunch of stuff i could tell you and some of these things i tell you could surprise the dickens out of you but anyway uh keeping it real i am who i am i'm not going to change i'm too old to start changing now so i hope you have a blessed blessed monday and a blessed week and again sending the best wishes I can to everybody. Take care. 
and we'll talk again. Bye for now.